What's going on, everybody? Today is Friday, October 28th. If you know what that means, you're in the right place. The Charizard UPC just got released today, and it was one of the most hyped boxes of the year, and it's really hard to find. Uh, went around looking for it. Let's see if I got one. What's going on, everybody? So I've heard that the Charizard UPCs potentially have been stocked already at some places. I have a day off. Let's see if we can find it. First stop, we're at Target. Let's see what we can find. First spot, not what I'm seeing, but a ton of product. Not too bad. Let's go check the back. In the back now, in the toy section, they got some ETBs, Lost Origin, Astro Radiance, the new Hidden Potential tins, and the Verizian box. But I am not seeing it. I got one more place to check. So let's go see. All right, voiceover time since Target was playing copyright music. This is a collector spot back in the electronic section of Target. If you definitely have not checked it out before, go do so. I have found some great stuff here. But look at this cute little Lapras. It's so cute. All right, we're here at Walmart for stop number two. Target didn't have anything. Let's see if we can find it here. Front of the store, pretty empty. They do have just one team pin, so that's kind of cool. But uh, let's go check the back. So here in the back, in the toy section, they're uh, pretty empty. Really don't have much. All they have are those that we're not even going to talk about. And a couple the check lane blisters. So, looks like Walmart, not a success. We do have one more place to go and check. So let's go ahead there now. So, uh, on my way to the next stop, I found another target. It's hard to see right there. Um, so I guess this is going to be a bonus target. Let's go check it out. Absolutely wiped up here. But let's go check the back. So, bonus target was playing their music way too loud. I didn't want to record the copyrighted music, but they had no luck. So we're here at our final stop today. Yet another target. And hopefully this one has it. If not, we're just going to be SOL. So let's go check it out. So yet again, Target was playing copyright music. Very, very loud. So I couldn't really talk, I guess, in the store. And when I went to the front of the store, I mean, there were employees working everywhere. Right in that section. So I was like, I'm just not going to record. But no luck. Um, I might check out a couple places later. So, I might check back in. See ya. Well, today is now officially the Charizard UPC release day. Um, change of clothes, as you can tell. I've still been looking, but I got one last place to check out. My final hope. Let's, let's go see. I'm probably going to get disappointed, but let's go check it out. So, as you can see, we checked many targets. Really only one Walmart, but Walmarts in my area typically don't really get too many crazy Pokemon items. Uh, and a lot of them are really hard to get to, actually. So I just really didn't even check Walmart. But we did have that one surprise store, and I didn't even tell you what that was. My very, very last hope, they pulled through. GameStop came in clutch. and I'm so excited to open it. Let's check it out. All right, let's do this. Boom. I mean, just look at this thing. It is freaking beautiful. And actually, I didn't realize it. My nephew pointed this out to me. It is slightly bigger than the Celebrations UPC. Slightly taller. And you can barely see it, but can I move it over? Just slightly bigger. But that's all right. I am so excited. These promo cards, mm, these promo cards seem amazing. So let's check it out. Let's dig into this box. If I can get this knife here. My setup's all in my way. It's really weird. 
Got to take this plastic off nice and carefully. We want to try to preserve the box as much as we can. Not that I'm ever really planning on selling it, but just for my collection, I want to have a nice looking box. I don't want a box that's torn to shreds. All right. So it says Sword and Shield, Pokemon trading card game, Pokemon trading card game, but in a different color. Got your big Charizard. All right, and it opens up this way here. Come on. Woo. Just barely misses the camera. Oh, no. It hit the camera. It hit the camera. Camera down. Camera down. All right. We're going to move this off to the side real quick, though. Because this is what I was super excited about. Well, not just this. Obviously, the whole box. But we're going to get this super, super dope brand new playmat here. That's going to actually sit pretty much right where it is and it's of the charizard v max promo card that comes in this box we're gonna have to try to flatten it out here but we're just we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it i keep wanting to look that way i just changed my camera view and it's it's weird this is throwing me off hopefully this is better for you hopefully you all enjoy this a little bit more but here just to save space so it's already getting crowded. This? Yeah. All right. But let's get into all of these goodies. Let's see what's in store. And ha. Uh, woo. The heat is right here. This is the good stuff. All three Charizard promo cards are right here. There's a code card for y'all since the... I don't use that. But here we go. We got the resting... Ah, no camera. Stay. We got this resting Charizard V. Really off center, but I mean, I do not care. Absolutely gorgeous card. This one, this was my favorite right here. Good? Better? Better. This one was my favorite. The Charizard V Max. The Godzilla Charizard. And the Charizard V Star. I'm still just shocked I got my hands on hands on this box. We get these really cool Godzilla Zard sleeves. I like that red border. That red border is kind of cool. It's different. It's unique. But this one, this one empty. We got our metal dice and our two metal coins. V-Star marker in that just yonder but man packs on packs on packs on packs i don't even know what all we got let's go through them two lost origin three astral radiance three brilliant stars three fusion strike three evolving skies two vivid voltage and a darkness ablaze what Ooh. Oh, we almost forgot about this coin. Charizard coin here. Let's see. There it is. Check that out. That's a pretty dope coin. But man, this selection of packs is insane. Like, I, I'm going to start with this one Darkness Ablaze. Cause I don't know where to start. These are insane. There's so many. I'm just... Oh, that's disappointing. I hate when the code cards are that way. Whatever. We're just going to get into it. So we get a Laron, Glimwood Tangle, Electric, Pansage, Skarmory, Starly, Torchic, Reverse Hollow Solrock, and Non Hollow Darmanitan. We kind of kind of knew that one was coming. Well, let's go. Yeah, we'll go. Vivid Voltage, we're going to save the Evolving Skies toward, for towards the end. I don't know if that's going to be the last set, but it's going to be closer towards the end. Just because, I mean, that's such a hype set. Everybody loves that set. You got you to gotta build up to it. Stunfisk, Rockruff, Wismer, Trubbish, Tynamo, Clobopus, 
Reverse Hollow Wubat and nothing. Uh Dusknor, but eh. I keep seeing like the there's like some printing error stuff on the top of the cards. And it keeps making me think that there's like a hollow or something behind it. Or not even a hollow. No. Oh. Anyway, it makes me think that there's a like a good hit behind it, and I keep not getting the good hits. Oh well. And something, it seems weird, with the older Sword and Shield era sets, it seems like the code cards weren't always in, like, a certain order, as we get nothing out of that one. Like, the code cards would be like that, where I accidentally opened it up, or sometimes they would, ooh, something that's in there. Sometimes they would just be, like, really weird. And you'd pull them out, and it'd be, like, backwards. I don't know. I noticed that. It was kind of weird. But hey, we got the new code cards. I think they're pretty good. So we get a reverse hollow cook and. Yo, a Mew V. I will take that. I will take that very, very much. Thank you. So we get into the second fusion strike back here. Let's go. Let's go. I think I'm most excited. For Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies, those are two of my favorite Sword and Shield era sets. And I just, I've been struggling finding Brilliant Stars lately. Like, I haven't found an ETB booster box or anything, so I just, I want to open up more, but I can't find it. Alright, we're kind of just cruising through these packs here. You gotta let me know down in the comments. Did y'all pick up a Charizard UPC? And if so, what kind of hits did you get? Because I'm telling you, this box is crazy. I don't even care if there's any good hits in here or not. Which there really haven't been. I thought. Did I not already throw that code card? Whatever. I don't remember if I did or not. Okay. Anyway, let me know if you picked one up, if you got anything good out of this, anything super, super crazy. And while you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it very, very, very much. Let's begin to Lost Origin. I'm already ripping the Lost Origin. Cause I don't, I'm not a big fan of the set, if I'm going to be honest. It's just, I keep getting the same cards over and over again, and it's just, it's not that fun for me anymore. I'd much rather open up a set where I at least have a chance of pulling something that I don't have. Because <clears throat> I'm missing a lot from a lot of sets. But here we go. We got Shellus. Shup it. We got something in this pack. Yo, Orbital VMAX. Look at that. Probably one of my favorite trainer galleries from Lost Origin. That's just such a crazy card. I love how, I just love Orbeal's Gigantamax, how they make it look like a, make it look like a UFO. I just, I love that. Well, here we go into some Astral Radiance. Honestly, in terms of alt arts, this has been my set. I have two of the really crazy alt arts. I have the Machamp, which is, I believe, still the most expensive card from Astral Radiance. So that's... That's really cool. And also have the Dialga. If I could get that Palkia too, I'd be content. So we got, oh, we got another hit. Radiant Greninja. I do like the Radiant cards. I am excited for the next wave of Radiant cards. But let's see what's behind. Hey, it's Palkia. It may, may not be the, uh, Alt art, like I was kind of just talking about, but it's still a Palkia. Hopefully, we can get that alt art at some point. I'm gonna try to clear off some more room here because, ooh, stuff everywhere. It's crazy. All right, let's rip into this next Astral Radiance. We still got, after this, we got one more pack of Astral, and then we got six more packs of fantastic sets to open up I'm excited let's go 
Pseudo Udo, Magnemite, Ralt, Noctowl, and Ursa Luna. So, nothing out of that pack. That's alright. <clears throat> I do think we have four pretty solid hits, though. I would say those are pretty solid. If you want to ask for more, I feel like you might just be getting a little greedy. But, hey, that's just me. That's just my opinion. What does my opinion matter? You got Mischievous, Barboach, Scyther, Eevee. That's so cute. He's just lying in a forest. Seasons, spicy seasoned curry and a weird ear hollow. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go Evolving Skies into Brilliant Stars. Maybe. Maybe I'll open up one Evolving, one Brilliant. I don't know. I might just... Mix it up. Be weird. I'm weird. Life's too short to not be weird. If you're weird, if you are weird, but you don't act weird, just stop that. Be yourself. Be weird. You're more fun that way, I promise. We got Dwebble, Reverse Hollow Shift Tree, and Non Hollow Flapple. Alright. Go with another, not another, we'll go into a Brilliant Stars here. I can rip it open. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what my fascination with Brilliant Stars is. <clears throat> I think it's because I got that um, Rainbow Rare Charizard, like, my first opening. So that just made it super special for me. So we got Wormadam and a Creamy Non Hollow. I do remember a buddy of mine. Did actually watch that YouTube video and made a really funny comment on how I had pulled the Charizard V Star regular before the rainbow. Made a comment that I wasn't too happy because I wanted the rainbow, and then boom, like 10 minutes later, guess what? The rainbow decided to show its face. That was a fun day. That was a fun video. So we got an Empoleon hollow hit right there. Oof. We are getting down to the wire here. <clears throat> Just a couple more packs left to go. Oh, <coughs> mm. My throat has been dry all day. It's made my voice a little, a little scratchy if you couldn't tell today. That's alright. I'm still feeling fine, feeling better than the last video, I'll tell you that much. Yo, look at that. Raichu. Full art. I don't think I have this one, so that's a great addition to the binder. Terribly off center, but <laughs> I don't care. I honestly do not care about centering or grades or <clears throat> really anything like that. I collect to have fun. This is my hobby. I want to share my hobby with all of you. So that's why I'm doing this. I could do it for the money, but eh. That's not as fun. So we got Zorua. Zorua just got released in Pokemon Go. Have you caught it yet? So it's, uh, it's really interesting what they did with Zorua. But here we go. We got the last pack of this Charizard UPC. I'm really, really, really hoping for some last pack magic here. Let's see what we can do. Can we get something absolutely insane? I mean, imagine if we end the Charizard UPC with the Alt Art Rayquaza. That would be just nuts. Let's see, we're here. We got a last Reverse Hollow. The last Rare is right here. Can we end this Charizard UPC with a bang? Not a bang. But it's a V. I'll take it. This was crazy fun. I, I'm i still just like in disbelief that I even picked this up. So if you get you guys did like this where it's... Oh, mm -hmm, mm, I'm good. If y'all did like this, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.